Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. peeps how's it going man i hate doing videos now at five o'clock because it makes it look like i'm just chilling outside uh in the dark but I just got out of work this is the time i got to record so let's talk about this topic because i see a lot of you guys say that we will and some of you guys are not there yet that are the detroit pistons a playoff team this year so for those of you guys who don't know what is going to happen this year this is not going to be a normal season. We all know that 2020 has been one of the craziest, worst years of everybody's life, and this is no different. Um, however, I think the Pistons can add some hope to the end of our 2020 and hopefully start 2021 off on a better note. And that's because you don't have to be the eighth seed to make the playoffs this year. So what is going to happen is the 7th through 10th seeds are going to do a play-in tournament, meaning they are going to play each other, and the winner of those games are going to be seeded as the 7th or the 8th seed. So the Detroit Pistons can be the 10th seed and still get into the playoffs. That is a game changer because I think that we are going to be a competitive team. We're going to go out there. There's not going to be any tanking this year. Troy Weaver is getting the guys that he wants to uh, develop and get better and build around. Now that he's got those guys, in year number one, there is no more tanking. The tanking stuff's out the window. He wants us to go out there, compete, and play hard. And the team that we have acquired, it's not the most talented team. It's not the most flashiest team. If you're not a Detroit Pistons fan, you're probably not rocking with us. You're just probably going to be watching Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose. And that's cool. I'm, you know, whatever. But you cannot tell me that the Pistons will not be... Uh, in the conversation to be the 10th seed at minimum okay i think during the regular season during the full 82 games you're going to be hovering around the 38 win mark uh to 45 if you're lucky and now that we're only playing 72 it opens up a lot more things of when we would have won games when we have lost games so that 35 record if you can pull that off is going to be good enough to get you into the playoff hunt and fighting to make the playoffs so i think that with this team that we have acquired we have a healthy blake griffin a healthy derrick rose those two factors alone should be good enough to get you to the 10th seed but now you've added killian hayes who is going to be a fun rookie to watch you've added grant he's going to be a savvy veteran player for us who quite frankly could have a career year for him this could be his best year. Then you have young guys like Seku who are going to take a leap in their development and get better. And this is all these different combinations of adding young talent, but going out there and getting veteran players with a bigger role who should play better than what they have. You're going to have a team that is at minimum the 10th seed. So the Detroit Pistons will be fighting for a playoff spot. Will they get it? I don't know. Because you got to be looking at the East of all the teams that are going to be right there with us. It's not going to be easy for the Pistons. The East has gotten better. I don't think that the East is as bad as it was in years prior. So, you know, the last couple of years, you look at the eighth seed and they're a few games below 500. I don't think that's going to be the case anymore for the next few years because you're going to be looking at what Atlanta's building on there. They got a nice player in Trey Young. You need to add him some talent. Not saying that they're going to be there, but, um, you know, Trey Young's nice. They're just a piece away from being in that spot. Uh, Brooklyn got way better. Washington, they're going to be in the playoff race now that they got a uh, healthy Westbrook. Plus, they got Denny IB and Bradley Beal. That's not a bad, bad three right there. Uh, but then, you know, Indiana Pacers, they they got a new coach. I thought they'd move on from Olu Depot and from Turner, but as of right now, they're still there. And if they're still there, they're a playoff team. So there's several different teams I can keep naming, but I don't want to make this a super long video that are going to be in the, around the same pace we are. Um, for the next foreseeable future. Again, the 7th through 10th seed is probably not going to be a multiple year thing unless the fans absolutely love it. And I know if the Pistons get the 10th seed and make the playoffs, I know Pistons fans are going to love it because 
we're just so desperate to be a good team. But it's a very real possibility for the Detroit Pistons to be a playoff team this year. Will it be pretty? Probably not. But I love the team that we, we've built, man. We're going to be a gritty team. We're going to be grinding out in some tough games. It's going to be some games that are probably decided by five or less points this year. Multiple of them. That's how tough I expect this team to play. We got a team that's going to never give up, no matter how much they're down, how much they're up by. They aren't going to be content. They're going to keep scratching, clawing, fighting their way back, and doing all kinds of different lineups to try to fight back and win this game. So I love the team that we have assembled. It still needs work. We need more pieces. It's not a title contending team. We have a long way to go to get there. But for right now, the foundation is set. We're building around Killian. And I've seen something today that we just signed Mason Plumley, not Miles Plumley, Mason Plumley, just for Killian in the pick and roll. So we're already building around Killian. So we're looking for the at the future and we're trying to get there. But right now, Troy Weaver wants his team to be competitive and the 10th seed is very doable, which means there's it's a chance. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think the Pistons can at least manage to get the 10th seed and fight for the playoffs? Let me know down below. We'll be live tomorrow on 313 Jamo channel for Above the Ram Men. Make sure you guys come back for that one. But I will see you guys there. Make sure you go to the description. And that's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. See you tomorrow on Above the Rim. Peace.